The platform you see here is a hybrid between a robot and a huge 3D printer. It can build complex 3D structures in diverse materials, including resin or aluminium, as is the case for the piece that I'm holding here. It has been designed to improve the efficiency and competitiveness of the European automotive and construction industry. How is that possible? And to what extent? European scientists here in Zaragoza in Spain have teamed up to find answers. Researchers say technology has been designed to make the manufacturing of industrial components 40% faster. The robot can create small or big metal structures to an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters thanks to a laser scanner. And developers say the technology can easily be scaled up. We can work on big surfaces, on areas of 20 meters in length, 4 meters wide and 4 meters high. Size is not a limitation to the technology. The working space we're able to create is determined by the size of the bridge crane that we have here. But our platform can be installed on a bigger bridge crane, or another bridge crane without columns, or simply on a mobile robot. Always controlled in real time, the robot can also print structures in resin in the form of a polyurethane paste at a deposition rate of around 120 kilos per hour. We can add material, we can print a complete 3D structure as you have seen in the demonstrations. But we can also create shapes by extracting material from the surfaces. For instance, in the case of the castle mock-up behind me, we have been able to cut the top parts to obtain the neat finished end. This versatility allows us to build very complex structures and with very variable geometries. Semi-finished and completed parts are constantly monitored for early failure detection in a bid to improve efficiency and reduce material waste. Researchers are now even looking beyond at other ways to enrich the system. We're already brainstorming ideas about how to add artificial intelligence to the system. We are also working to enrich it with digital replicas and also with new human-machine interfaces. And we're also looking at a very important exploitation opportunity, the inclusion of this technology in other existing machine tools. Already used to manufacture this mock-up, the technology was originally developed for the automotive and construction industries. Researchers say they are now thinking wider. The aeronautical sector is very much interested in this solution. Also, the shipyard industry can use this technology to build ships and yachts. Also, the railway sector and the renewable energy sector for the construction of wind turbine blades. At the end of the day, this system is very versatile and easy to replicate. Scientists say the system requires 90% less floor working space than other existing technologies, and it is pretty much ready to get on the market.